Welcome back to the Last Night Welcome podcast. I'm tired. I'm outside. I'm way leaning. I've been told to stop moving over so much. Yeah. Um, the sun is clearly here, as you can see. Episode 19 outside. Maybe that's what we'll call it. He's a lot bigger than me in his view because he's closer, but whatever. Yeah, we said that in a lot of videos. Just so, this week, battling back and forth, but I guess we're doing football. We'll do football, but just life. Like, right now, football is a big part of our life. Let's we're gonna kind of talk through this like we do when we play in basketball, like when we take our breaks, just talking about things. Um, so, sure. here we'll start with the Jets because you know they won their preseason game yesterday, twenty-seven to nothing. Granted, preseason doesn't mean a lot, but seeing the players and seeing a lot of these young guys play really well. Um, for me, seeing Beckton um, play pretty good, even as a backup, it's promising because we're gonna need him, in my opinion. Seeing a rookie running back and. Our first round pick mcdonald coming off the edge uh along with the first round pick from last year um just dominating people so our depth on the defensive line and linebacker is scary isn't even playing hmm? jermaine it? johnson oh yeah, he's going against backups that's yeah, fine but he, he's looking good i have no faith in no stackles yeah. you know that everything else i think is gonna be fine we don't need another running back stop going after dalvin cook i'm probably one of the only jet fans saying that <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not against going after Cook. I, just, um, I liked what I saw from our three running backs yesterday. Bam is just going to be the odd man out. Um, he, he's looking more and more like a little fluke. A couple, couple good games last year. Um, yep, I'm saying Hall, Carter, Izzy. I mean, you get in, Bam's a good fourth. If you get in, if you get Dalvin Cook, if we're, who's he replacing? Brees Hall? I don't think so. No, uh, my guess is he's going to replace Carter if he comes in. And again, we like Michael Carter, so. Um, and I'm, I'm really enjoying everything I'm hearing from Tony Adams, the, the young. Yeah, safety. yeah, no, he'll be he'll be starting. I like our defense. The defense is going to keep us in a lot of games if the offensive line can protect Rodgers. Yeah, and I think he's it's going to be one of those situations. He's going to help the offensive line too because he gets rid of the ball so fast. Sure, and he's going to read the right coverage, but you still need tackles. Yeah, I mean, but there's been a lot of practices where offense is winning, which is much different than years past, <laughs> uh, where defense wins everything. There's like it's just our defense. But the offense has to win at some point. Yeah, I guess. And, you, and you would think. I mean, it comes down to those two tackles. And then that's where we disagree. And if the tackles play great, it's a, long, it's a deep playoff run. If the tackles play how I think they're going to play, it's a wild card win and out. Yeah, I mean. I mean, you, don't I, want, you, you can't go to Kansas City in your first, the first week. But I think a lot of – I don't think many teams in the league have five great offensive linemen. I think quarterbacks make the offensive linemen look better. You can get away with guards, though, if you have a tackle and a great center. Uh, uh, agreed. And I said I, – but I, th I think we're really solid up the middle. I think that's the thing that gets quarterbacks the most is if you can't protect them up the middle because they can account for the outside rusher not, by – Not the blind side. By uh, Yeah, they can. That's why left tackles are paid so much. The blind side is what they can't see. They can't see it, but they can adjust Only for Patriot, it with They're so used passes. to watching Patriot quarterbacks who are being told – Step up because there's a guy about to hit you. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't count. No other no, team I'm, has that. I'm talking about those quick passes. You get it out before someone could basically get you unblocked. Right, but there's going to be plays where they're not doing that. Although it was encouraging for me. I, I think the most encouraging thing from last night's game is how many screen passes we threw. Um, well, yeah, because they're not showing anything in the offense. Yeah, well. Just, well, that and they're like, hey, last year we <laughs> they refused to give. Because Zach was yippee at those little ones because he would throw, like, one in the game. Well, and the designs of the screens are just better than they were. Like, last year, they were horrible. We called out when every screen was going to go. The designs of them were horrible. This yeah, the, year, the guy was always moving away from yeah, the quarterback. Yeah, like, now they're, you can tell people are being set up on the blocks. The, just the offensive play calling, Well, um, the, the, just the, offensive coaching, you can see the difference in the way the players are playing. The, the only hope with the offensive line is, even if it's as bad as it was last year, the offensive quarter is not going to call in 20-yard outs by, by every receiver right. with a quarterback who can't see it all that great and a line that can't block. It's and, like, and, hey, you need five seconds to throw this ball. You have one and a half. Yeah, and you look at it as um, even if Becton isn't what he used to be or ends up being a bust, um, in Is your Turner, thumb anything the entire time? Is it in what? Your thumb? No, it's not blocking right. it. You can see us. I like, couldn't see I'll go see with the thumb. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Um, but even if the offensive linemen aren't great, like Max Mitchell takes a step back, Billy Turner doesn't play good, Beckton also gets hurt. But you got to remember, we also lost AVT last year. Like, no, no, I'm we were playing the, the, like the, backups the, to backups. The middle to should be good enough. First of all, the right guard or Tomlinson, Tomlinson, whatever his name is, should play better this year. He's going to yeah. care. 
I think last year it came point in time. He just yeah, stopped caring. Right. And I think once we lost Hall last year, it became hard because people knew the offensive line knew we had a throw. And I think a lot of our team lost a little bit. Of no, confidence. they still stacked the box. The difference is Brees Hall is just making them miss. Well, that, that's what's... <laughs> that's the difference. Like yeah. if you have Adrian Peterson, it doesn't matter if you stack the box. <laughs> right, but you know when you have a player like that, if you block yeah. for that one extra second, it matters. You right. take a player like that out, they're not blocking for that one extra second. Uh, I said a lot of things happened last year, but. We have so much young talent on this team, probably more young talent than I've ever seen on, on our team. Like Even our the young seventh-round tight end we got, got a touchdown yeah. yesterday. And Who's that, Kuntz? Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll see if he makes a team. Yeah, as I said, who, who knows? I, I know there's a lot of people out there. It, it was good seeing Zach Wilson play good. Just, You're so optimistic. Just it's him. almost like you've never been a Jet fan before. Hey. I saw a lot of good things. Zach Wilson actually played good. I'm waiting for aliens to come steal Aaron Rodgers. That's that's what I'm waiting for. Headline, um, aliens exist. Steal Aaron Rodgers. But again, <laughs> how much of it might have been our offensive coordinator? Like, I'm not saying Zach Wilson was a good quarterback last year. Right, no, no, no. He missed a lot, yeah. but the offensive coordinator didn't adjust at, to the line at, at all. him. Right. Um, and we just seem like we're in a much better position with the offensive line. Um, and it, it is funny seeing some Mike Wade... Uh, I have to throw a little jab at you. He he played in his preseason game and looked god awful for Miami. Threw a pick, had like fifty percent completions. He is turnover prone. Just had to throw that he's out there. He's fine. He's he's fine. He's gonna do good for them until he gets hurt. They're all playing with backups, dude. It doesn't he, matter. Well, that's the only thing you have to judge by. It's backups playing against backups. He is a backup. So yeah, him playing against backups, he should do pretty no, good. No, well, I'm saying you don't know what the receiver went the wrong way. All that shit happens all the time. I'm leave, just saying leave, he didn't leave look my good. boy alone. He looked awful. He he throws a turnover. He has a turnover every game he plays. Hall of Fame, first game ever. That's, that's all I'm saying. That's, that's all. So I said we got a lot of promising. I, I'm I'm excited. I don't. I know they said the first like six games are cr incredibly crazy, but I don't view Dallas as a team that's better than us. I don't view New England as a team that's better than us. No, no. So I got a question though. Completely off football subject. Go for it. Why does YouTube hate wolves? I don't know. I, I, was, I knew you were going to bring that up. So the reason he's bringing that up is every time he posts any video involving a wolf, it gets like two to four it views. It gets views it, just from people yeah. that we know. That's um, it. It never goes into shorts reels. It never gets seen. It's wolves. And I don't understand why YouTube hates wolves. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't get it. We, but on a positive note. I could note, be in a, in a live feed and have seen the wolf come and eat me. And like, yeah, that's not cool. On a, on a positive note. Um, by this time next week, we'll have over 100,000 views on our page. So that, that's a pretty good accomplishment. We're, we're definitely getting there. So appreciate everyone who watches. Uh, we're going to have to keep finding some creative things um, for our shorts page. So if you have ideas, things you want us to try, I mean, I'm willing to run into a car, so not a moving one. <laughs> I'm not. I am. I said not a moving no, one. No, that, that'd I'll, have to I'll be, run into a car. That'd have to be a million views. Hey, that's what it takes. We'll get there. Um, you want your milk bowl money. We're going to get there. I do. Milk bowl famous. So, uh, predicting Jets record this season, I'm going to say they're going go to go um, 12 and 5. Make it to uh, the championship game. 11 and 6 or 13 and 4. So, I refuse to say they're going to make the Super Bowl because then I'm just jinxing And, and, it, so. and the, reason, the reason why reason, is. What, what record did you say they're going to have? 11 and 6 or 13. Oh, okay. 13 and 4. And the whole reason is they beat the Bills last year one of the games. They would have beat them the second one if Mike White didn't get broken in half. Yeah, and they beat Miami once. Well, they beat – yeah, they beat them, but, I mean, neither yeah. team had a yeah, well, capable again, quarterback. But that's the thing, that neither out. team. Right. Um, they We should have beat New England if they didn't call back that um, interception before halftime. That, again, no, that's that why changed, those things matter. That changes the entire season. That yeah. changes lives. Mac, Mac Jones is out of the league. Zach Wilson is still yeah. If that back. happens, that that changes everything. They just but. made the playoffs last year. So, ah, all right. We're so we wanted to get a podcast out this week. It's been my full. It's my my fault. We are a little short last week and and a little short this week, or not all last week and a little short this week. But now we have to get on to game four on this beautiful basketball court. Beautiful is a strong word. Hey, I love fugging out. So, um, we at least we got shade. You know what so, I like? That's shady. American Family Fitness. A everyone, uh, post your comments on who you think won the best of seven today. Okay. Okay.